This is my second time recording this because apparently my recording software just does not feel like working. Good thing I had a restore point. To tell you what. All right, welcome back to Paper Mario, the uh, the the one without the things. Um, the upgraded FP. I feel like I should just rely on BP and just buy badges for the other. Gumbario, what are you doing? All right. So today we are heading on up to Star Gazer Summit or whatever it's called. Sh shooting Star Summit, right? Because you know you got shooting stars like like that one and that one and this that other one and this one and this one and that one and that one and this one. I believe there is something down here. Yeah, Star Peace. Stars everywhere. We got shooting stars, fallen stars, star patterns, and star pieces. The only things that aren't stars here are these flowers, but whatever. Close enough, good enough, you know. I mean, you know, the only thing besides that that isn't a star is like the screen itself. Like, it'd be funny if like... Like, the whole thing was star. I mean, now we're st talking to a star guy with a platform with star patterns, and he's talking, gonna talk about stars. We can see the stars in the sky. And I am the star of the show. Ho ho. Blah, blah, blah. Something about Bowser. <laughs> Basically took the star rod. We gotta save them all these people and thus our adventure shall ensue. Oh, I can't Okay, now I can skip through I, I mean, I, I, I just I just don't really feel like listening to all this. I'm not in the mood You know, it's exposition Yeah, the princess she'll be okay. We just gotta we just gotta save everyone you gotta go through the places and the worlds, and eventually we'll find our way to the castle, where we will take on Bowser. Oh. Well, it's kind of already destroyed. We'll see that. Wahahaha! <laughs> My dear Princess Peach, how are you doing this fine day? It's no use waiting for Mario this time, my dear. We're so high, um, high above the sky right now, even Mario doesn't have a chance of reaching us up here. You no, know, Princess, as long as I have the Star Rod, no one in the Mushroom Kingdom can touch me. You know a power that grants everyone's wishes? It's mine! Isn't that just wonderful? <laughs> Imagine what it's like around your kingdom. Your subjects must be so upset because their wishes aren't being granted. Oh, how delightful! They deserve it for the way they've treated us Koopas over the years. Ooh, getting political over here. If you, you know, want anything, all you do is ask me, Princess. I grant wishes. Of course, I'll only get grand requests I like. Anyway, think about it. You take care, Princess Peach. Enjoy your stay here. You watch yourself, Princess. You'd better not cause trouble. It's a funny laugh there. Cammy's uh, quite an old timer. Right a tat tap. So there aren't. So here's this jolly little tune with this cute little star. Twink. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Who are you, and why are you here? Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> okay, that's a bit much. I mean, come on. This little guy is, like, so small, you know? Yeah, I mean, come on, Peach. You, you, you gotta, you gotta, like, you know... Yeah, something a small star can do. Huh. Oh. I'm surprised that, like, she actually got a wish or something. Although, maybe Twink is just hanging out because, like, you know, he can't really get to granting wishes, so I'm ju he's just, like, kind of wandering around. But, Twink can do this. There we go. Okay, yeah. We can take our time, more or less, you know. Yeah. <sighs> Peach is gonna do a few things, but in general, she'll be fine. She'll, she will get, you know, as as Cammy alluded or suggested, she will get into some trouble, but not a ton. Do I have? Okay. <clears throat> Oh, <laughs> and immediately Twink is right here. Oh, thank heavens. All right, now we can use action commands. Mm-hmm. No. No. I'm fine. All right. Here you are. Uh-oh. <laughs> Apparently. What a foolish star, kid. My news, if I followed you, I'd find Mario. If I defeat Mario right now, I'd be famous. I'll tell Kemi Koopa, she'll, she'll shower me with praise. She'll give me a raise. Here I come. Uh-oh. All right, right before land. Ah, I could never get used to that. It's right before, not when you hit the enemy, like in the Thousand Year Door. But hey, that's okay. I do believe they have... Okay, yeah, this guy definitely has 8 health. You'll, you'll find plenty, plenty of this kind of enemy, like, later on, you know. They're, they're kind of like a... Um, I wouldn't say mid-tier, like, kind of a sort of late-tier enemy, you know. I mean, for now, they're like a mini-boss, but, you know. Yeah. You know, we got like 15 star points from that. Like, who, who, Nelly? Okay. Yep. Good to know. Oh. Oh. <laughs> good, good for you that you remembered. Good job. Good job, Twink. Uh-huh. Yes, yes. I, I, I've, I've heard that, like, 12 times, 10 times already. I get it. Yes. Oh, yeah. Did I... I don't know what happened there. I, it, somehow I pushed the C stick... Because in this case, it's like a C stick, you know. A uh, 
right stick. Mm hmm. Okay. Really? You sure? So funny thing is that like you, you have to knock on his door again. It's it's hard to tell, but I mean, not a whole lot else to do. But to knock on said door again, I I don't know how you would really figure that out, but you know, yeah. Sometimes this game can be a little cryptic. Of course, I mean this this character is all about being cryptic or something. Okay. Yeah, this is just a bunch of nonsense. And Mario falls asleep. Kind of a trope in the series. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay. Oh, I guess he explained his backstory. It doesn't matter. Uh huh. So this guy, uh, Merlin, is giving us a uh, a free trial of his uh, uh, powers. Uh, really. In front of the Toad House, that's kind of an odd name of it, because there's like Toad Houses. Oh, this house, like the, this, you know, the Toad sign. Uh, oh. You don't want to go out there. It's way too dangerous. Going to Koopa Brothers Fortress would be a huge mistake. Definitely, definitely go, don't go. Most of all, though, you shouldn't ask Gold Man Merlin for help. That would be really bad news for us. I mean, for you. Don't even think about it. Uh, I kind of let it go, but yeah, those are clearly bad guys. Talk to them, and Merlin's like, oh, hey, oh, really? Oh, wow, hmm, interesting. All right. Let's deal with it. Bum, 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 I'm faster than you, Merlin. Haha. <laughs> I told you they can't pass. Take off. <laughs> oh, alright, this is a good guy. Yeah. <sighs> um, we don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, what gives? Ask anyone. We're just cute ordinary toads hanging out. Yeah. Uh huh. So these guys are are nin ninjas. <laughs> so we'll find uh, some pretty cool shenanigans from them. How? How'd you guess it was us? We're perfectly disguised. Shucks. Black, yellow, green. We retreat for now. Uh huh. Hmm? A blue shelled Koopa. I'll be on the lookout. Koopa Village. Okay, okay now. Ba -ba -ba -la -ba -ba. How long has this been going? 14 and a half minutes. You know what? I can. Well. Let me think about this now. I think I should just end it right here and get back to this later. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -ba.